This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com, and today I have with me the T-Mobile Shadow, the 2009 version, not to be confused with the earlier version that was also called the T-Mobile Shadow. This updated Shadow has Windows Mobile 6.1 running in the background and features a slightly updated form factor. Still features the same 20 key hybrid keyboard that we've seen, you know, has a QWERTY layout in uh, kind of a Blackberry Pearl type formation. Like the original, it features a scrolling D-pad. It can be used to scroll or move up and down, left and right, with regular key presses. On the side here, we have volume up and down controls. There is a covered micro SD slot here. On the other side, we have the dedicated camera shutter button and then there is a shortcut key. By default, the short press of the shortcut key brings up the messaging application. A long press will bring up the Wi-Fi Quick Connect. Uh, the Wi-Fi Quick Connect is important because this is a UMA-capable device. Take a look up at the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you can see that pink indicator showing that we're on a Wi-Fi network using UMA, which means all the voice and messaging and data is routed across our local Wi-Fi router as opposed to through the GSM Edge network. While the color scheme on this particular version is pearl white in general, kind of a metallic-y looking pearl white finish, the back plate has a nice fade from silver to a bluish green tint down here at the bottom. Also on the back is the 2 megapixel fixed focus camera. When you open the device up, you can see the T-Mobile Shadow logo. Slider mechanisms uh, nicely sprung, it's not too stiff, but still stays in place. The uh, only complaint I would have in terms of the build quality is that the scrolling D-pad feels a little bit loose, um, a little too free spinning, and uh, the spinning action inside the interface on the device doesn't seem to keep up. The Shadow here runs an updated version of the Neo interface that we first saw in the original Shadow, uh, a precursor to sliding panels, which is also available. When you're using the D-pad to go up and down, it switches from one panel to the next, but the scrolling action moves through the various pieces of information on that panel. You can see we look here at music. There's two songs preloaded on the device. Avril Lavigne, and then there's a Dave Matthews album as well. You can see the album art shows up on the display. When you're in these various panels like this, you can see that the right soft key takes you to something related. In this case, pressing the right soft key brings up the Windows Media Player. However, when you're in this panel here, which is at the bottom, which is mostly settings related, the right soft key takes you to the full settings screen. But from here, you can still get to the things you need to get to most. Here's the comm manager for configuring, you know, turning on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, that kind of thing. Close applications. Check battery life. Change your ringtone. And change your wallpaper. It's also the ever useful profile switcher, but there's probably an easier way to get to it. If you just hold down the long press, the home button, it brings up this quick menu which also lets you get to the task manager, the comm manager, and quickly set profiles without having to move around and navigate too much. If we bring up the start menu here, you can see that um, everything is pretty much standard Windows Mobile 6.1. You can use the D-pad to scroll through. It's a little hard to visually keep up with what it's doing, though. So you can always use the D-pad to click up and down, left and right, and that kind of thing. This left soft key will also move you from page to page. Like most Windows Mobile devices, you can set speed dials for applications and contacts. Take a quick look at the camera application here on the shadow. Hold down the shutter button for a second to load the camera. See, it looks nice and clear. Bring up the settings. Right now it's in full 2 megapixel resolution, so there's no digital zoom. But if we switch that, get out of the settings, you can see the digital zoom in effect. You 
moving left and right on the D-pad switches modes. You can see right up here in the corner where it says video or photo, video messaging, contacts picture. There are also some frames, sports mode, and regular photo mode again. Pressing up here, the upper right hand corner will bring up the album. We don't have a lot of photos in there at this point. And of course the shutter button takes the picture. You can also use the D-pad center button. So in general it works pretty nicely.